Cameroon is a Central African country well known for its diverse culture, giving it the name Africa in miniature. Cameroon cuisine is well known within its national borders, but still barely known to those of the diaspora. Reason why today I'm going to introduce you to the best traditional dishes that Cameroon has to offer and why they are so special. If you love food as much as I do, then this video is for you. So sit back, relax and watch as I take you on a journey through the Cameroonian cuisine from the delicious ndole to the sumptuous puff puff and beans and the exotic egusi pudding. I promise you won't be disappointed. Hello there and welcome to my YouTube channel. Here we share with you important events occurring on the African continent. Do well to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as well so as to remain updated on recent developments in Africa and the world. It is worth noting that the delight of Cameroonian dishes lies not only in the cooking methods but it also comes from the unique ingredients. The dishes you are about to see are not only some of the most popular in Cameroon but also the most loved by visitors and they are the dishes you need to get to know if you are new to Cameroonian cuisine. Without further ado, let's begin. First on our list is the most coveted ndole. Ndole is the most popular dish in Cameroon as you will find it at nearly all ceremonies and banquets. When you ask tourists what they most love about their stay in Cameroon, they will always name this dish. Ndole is a traditional dish of the Douala people of the coastal regions of Cameroon. It is a peanut based stew made with ndole leaves that is bitter leaves, crayfish, beef and spices. The whole thing is served with miondo which is a starchy mixture of ground cassava tied up in banana leaves or plantain, fufu and ale. After ndole, this is one of the most loved dishes in all Cameroon. In nearly all markets, you'll find a mami ero, that is the pidgin word for mama or mother, who sells fufu and ero. Fufu and ero is a traditional dish from the northwest and southwest regions of Cameroon and its neighboring Nigeria. The stew consists of ero, scientific name Netum Africanum, stewed with spinach, commonly called water leaf in Cameroon palm oil and either smoked fish, dried crayfish, cow skin, called tanda in pigeon or beef. It is served with water fufu, which is a fermented, boiled and pounded starchy cassava or gari, which is simply roasted granular starchy food made from cassava. Next we have okok. There are three varieties of okok dishes in Cameroon from three different ethnic groups, the basa, Etun and Yabasi. The most prevalent are the Basa and Etun. Fun or nerdy fact The scientific name of Okok is Netum Africanum. So, yes, the same ingredients just like Aero mentioned earlier. Reason being that it is the same leaf but with different appellations Aero in the southwest and northwest regions of Cameroon and Okok in other southern regions, that is the littoral, center, and the south regions. The last two okok meals are peanut and palm nut juice based stews. The only difference being the seasoning. The Basa people season with salt and additionally stewed with either kanda, cow skin, smoked fish or beef, while the Eton people season theirs with sugar, adding just a little salt. Sangha. It is a one-pot vegetable dish from the southern and central regions of Cameroon. The main ingredients here are black nightshade leaves, commonly called zoom, palm nut juice, fresh corn grains, and optionally sugar. Many people prefer adding sugar to this meal, but the fresh vegetables and corn give it a sweet aspect by themselves. Jama 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 or Huckleberry with scientific name Solanum Scabo is one of the most popular vegetables in Cameroon. It is commonly served with corn fufu that is a fine ground corn, but also with unripe boiled bananas or plantains. It is a staple meal but can be very expensive to cook during the dry season as at this time vegetables are in short supply. 
Next, we move to the Cameroonian soups and sauces category. We have the groundnut soup. The groundnut soup or sauce d'archid in French is a peanut soup made by blending roasted peanuts, that is groundnuts, in a food processor. People in the south and central regions of Cameroon traditionally cook this soup with minimal ingredients. Peanut paste, either bifaga, also called mbunga, which is a type of smoked fish or chicken, ginger, garlic, onions, and optionally pepper. Bifaga and chicken are best for this soup because they marry so well with the flavor of the groundnut paste. The soup is served best with rice or boiled plantains. Achu and yellow soup. This beautiful yellow soup is one of the most delicate dishes of Cameroonian cuisine. It is traditionally made by fusing red oil, beef or chicken, limestone, yes, I mean the rock, and a variety of spices. It is paired with achu, which is pounded cocoa yam, and sometimes a small portion of huckleberry. And for the records, no forks or spoons. Like many other African dishes, yellow soup and achu taste way better when eaten with fingers. A point to note here is, ground limestone used in this soup is a rather controversial ingredient in edible products. So before consuming, please make sure to ask your doctor whether it is safe for you to ingest. Then we have Mbongo. The appearance of this soup can make people more reluctant than willing, but it is a highly flavored and tasty soup. Commonly called Mbongo Chobi, when cooked with fish, it is a spicy black sauce mainly eaten by the Basa people. The crucial ingredient is the Mbongo spice, from which the stew got its name. Together with dry spices, they are burnt then ground before cooking the sauce, the reason for its black color. It is served with boiled plantains or cocoa yams. Next, we have okra soup. Of 10 people visiting patients in hospital, at least 7 will have this soup in their basket. Some say it is because of its sticky nature so the patient can easily consume it but rather it's because it is so healthy. Called sauce gombo in French, this vibrant soup consists of okra, tomatoes, onions, garlic, a small quantity of oil, optionally pepper, and either crayfish, smoked fish, or meat. Some people like to add ground egusi which are melon seeds to the soup, but that is totally up to the cook. It is served with fufu and traditionally eaten with the fingers. That was it for the most popular traditional dishes in Cameroon and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'd love to hear your feedback and see what your thoughts of the dishes presented so far are. I had much to say than just this one video so I'll be posting another one soon that will cover more traditional dishes. Do well to hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on part 2 of this video and also turn on the notification bell so we can keep in touch. Also, hit the like button if you found this video interesting enough. Ciao!